Yeah, this looks like frog habitat. Let's see if we can't pull something out with a frog. Nothing like catching a bass on a top water over there. You see them come up and explode, boom! Give you an adrenaline rush like no other. Now everybody got that, that something that gives them that rush. And for me, it's having a fish on the end of that line. To get turned around and go with the flow of the current. There's one. Oh, he got away. What I like about these Z-Man frogs, they're very durable. They last a long time before you have to go to the next one. That splash was small. So I'm gonna hit the other side of this dock. I don't think that one was worth trying to go after again. But there's times just because the splash was small don't mean it was a small fish. But I'm trying to get some fishing in before that weather gets bad. Come on out of there. Typically, once it hits that water, there's something wanting it. So the first couple of movements of the bait, when you for reel it a couple of times, that's normally where you see it. And with a frog, you can't be anxious. You gotta let them get it. And then pull it like that, folks. You see that? That's how you pull them fast up out of the water on a frog. How it's done, people. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm something like a pro. I just don't get paid.